Illustrator 2023 has a new feature called Intertwine. This feature allows you to easily reorder or overlap parts of a shape, object, or text in a dynamic new way. This is a text I created using the type tool in Illustrator. On top of it, I use the pen tool to create this line. Now, if I use the selection tool and select both the text and the line, I can go to object, intertwine, make. And the first thing you'll notice is that you're now using the lasso tool, even though it's not activated here in the toolbar. The lasso tool allows you to draw an enclosed path around the sections that you want to intertwine. I can draw a path around this area here, and now the line is going behind the letter E. If you press and hold the shift key before clicking and dragging, you'll be creating a rectangular selection. You can undo using Ctrl or Command Z, but then you'll have to go back to Object, Intertwine, and click Edit, or just click Edit in the control bar here, or in the Properties panel there. Let's intertwine more areas. And done. But everything is still editable. Our text is still a text. And even this line here is still a regular path that you can edit with the direct selection tool if you want. If you want to reset the intertwine, activate the selection tool, select the group, and click Release. And this also works on more than two objects. Here are three shapes. Let's select them and go to Object, Intertwine, Make. And let's create a selection around three paths. And now if you hover the cursor over one of the paths to highlight it, you can right click and select bring to front, bring forward, send backwards, or send to back. And this way you can control the order of the intertwine. This is how Illustrator's new intertwine feature works.